Hey what's up guys, I just checked up on my space and all that good stuff. So I'm uh, just going to start part 2 here. Uh, I don't know whether I this is actually going to be part 2 or edited into 1 since this is technically chapter 1. But uh, well, something I did notice is that's uh, <laughs> the EVA suit. Uh, nice thumbs up there. But uh, just something I saw when I was taking a break, uh, checking about my space etc. Uh, as you see I already have a full full uh, thing so if it gets to that point just use your med packs and uh, don't really worry too much like right there just use the med pack automatically that's a cool new feature I like this way you don't have to hit select use a small med pack and then pick up so this fight scene getting serious already two guys crawl up there and uh, one guy eventually spawns back here and there's one around the corner over there. And I think another one actually comes out of the vents somewhere. So, um, this is where your first weapon switching comes in handy. Take out the guy with the fodder axes using the tactic I showed in the first video. Arm, leg, uh, just in case you didn't watch that. And then go f with this for the normal necromorphs. There's only a couple. I think the plasma cutter would work great against the uh, guys if they already split in half and they have like the three spikes coming out. Just because it's a wider beam and you can be more accurate. So there we go. And they're gonna spawn in here. Fodder axes. Oh. oh cool, he died. Uh here we go. Three normal necromorphs. Um the thing blocked my sight for a second. Uh I usually try and use Kinesis as much as possible. But keeping in mind that it's not going to be 100%. And if you have to run like this, don't be afraid to run. And uh, if you're going to take a hit, just take a hit. Um, obviously, you're not going to want to do what I did there and let that guy with the tentacles hit me. Try and finish him off right away. Uh, so that guy is still alive. The guys that are like halved. They're really actually really hard to kill. Oh, see, this is a, I I did this in the last game. I ended up actually restarting this room four or five times, but I decided at this point in the playthrough, you'll have so many med packs that it really shouldn't matter. I mean, my rig was full with them, cause just because I haven't used any, and I just felt in this one I was just gonna do a one quick run through. And, uh, yeah, so there's this guy. Uh, he's a normal necromorph. I usually take out the legs and then the arms, just because I've been doing that since Dead Space 1. But in here, they're way faster. If you haven't noticed, he ducked down to run at me, so it's way harder to pick out specific limbs on some of these guys. But, I mean, in this, t in this tutorial type video here, I mean, you see all the med packs I have, right? Oh, forgot about him. Uh, you will lose health, obviously, if you get into quick time events. As you saw, I just lost half of my health yet again. So, just keep in mind that that guy's there. I had it. Uh, I never forgotten about him until now. Uh, kind of one of the things I was talking about in my last video. Getting comfortable with knowing what comes in next in the game. And then also me trying to commentate it and concentrate at the same time. But that's why you watch these videos, to see uh, what comes next. And uh, that's just kind of what these videos are meant for and why everyone watches these. Uh, there we go. Yep. Not really much tips, just get this done. Uh, one thing I did notice though, I remember the hacker suit from Dead Space 2, and that's why it was called the hacker suit, is because that's this. And once I saw this well, the first time I started playing Dead Space 3, I knew it was the hacker suit right away. And I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I don't know, it just threw me off guard. And just the fact that they called it the hacker suit like hey you're hacking into our next game here kind of easter egg the dead space 3 without us even knowing it because the suit itself was pretty like 
casual like he was a jacket and I'm like what does that mean hacker suit though so I mean that's what it was for was Dead Space 3 so and that just threw me off guard and I thought I'd mention it right now since there's really no tips coming up or until uh, a couple minutes here so I'm already five minutes into recording this is actually easier to talk through it than I thought but once again there's those points where you're quiet and you don't know what to say and there's really no tips to give it, it this game has points where it's really really fast and you know what you gotta do there's a lot of tips to give and then there's points where it's like yeah just just play this so you're gonna open this door step back so you don't get shot and then you're gonna use the SMG for this part uh, they're gonna spawn two guys once you climb up the ladder and uh... yeah once again go for the shots to the head uh... covers really uh... pointless in this game but man right now i can't shoot them the train swings making it hard uh... now i'm gonna use me and med pack cause even after the cutscene and all that they really don't uh... replenish your health here don't go down the ladder yet just shoot this guy Uh, now I'm out of ammo. Um, big deal here. This is uh, make or break. They're going to spawn a guy with a shotgun. And you're going to have to kill him. No ammo, so... I got the plasma cutter still, so... Keep that in mind if you do run out. Go for him. Guy on the left. I'm going to shoot him with stasis, just so he doesn't have the time to shoot that shotgun. And you come up to here. And here you go. Now, throughout this entire playthrough, you're going to realize, especially on hardcore mode, those guys with the RPGs and the shotguns, they're deadly. One one hit and you're gone. And it's, it's a pretty big pain. One of the times when I was doing hardcore, I was on chapter 11 or whatever, moving towards the facility. And it was like, they spawned a guy with an RPG, like once you're on this elevator going down. And you would automatically shoot the elevator. You had to either catch it or you would basically die. I I got hit. I had one little tiny bar of life. Like not even a bar. It was a dot. Like my entire thing was empty. And I was like, I should not have lived. And it was just crazy how uh, these guys can just shoot you once and you're gone. And that rocket wasn't even near me. So if I was hit somewhere direct on, I would have been dead. Um, that brings me to another tip. Um, always keep full health. Uh, if you can. Like, if you're like a small med pack away, go to a suit kiosk, upgrade some, and there you go. As I showed in another video, you upgrade one thing, you got full health, you got full stasis. So uh, Just keep that in mind. Don't try and do the uh, technique where you have one bar of health or like red health. Uh, pick that up by the way the med pack and then there's also one over here but uh, just another thing don't try and do the tactic where you're running forever on low health just so you can get to a suit kiosk and upgrade I'm saying if you're on your way and you know you got bluish yellow health like in between I'll show you in a second I'm pretty sure it'll just put me in between here uh, if you got somewhere like this or maybe a tiny bit lower to where it's a like yellow tinted but not all the way yellow yeah, go for it. Upgrade some. Uh, wait until you can try to get to a suit kiosk. Because if you're gonna get hit, it's not gonna kill you right away. You got one or two. You got at least one hit in you before you're really low. So just if you know a suit kiosk is up, just go there. You get full health. You don't have to use that small med pack or medium med pack just so you can get the uh, full health. Now I know I didn't get all the resources back there, but you can if you want. I mean, taking your time. I know I did. And there's going to be an artifact and two things of ammo back here. I don't think they give med packs. Ammo. Ammo. Yep, and that other thing was just a med pack. So, coming up to the first flight sequence. This is make or break. The uh, real pinnacle of uh, whether you can actually do this or not. It's going to get to the point where only the sequences are threatening and nothing else is. And it's basically the only 
thing you have on your mind is, okay, when's the next sequence, and how am I going to pull it off? You really don't think anything of necromorphs, at, or soldiers really, except for parts where there's RPGs or shotguns. <sighs> Just took a stretch there, uh, since nothing's happening. Um, little tip for this mind thing. Um, it's weird how they push Isaac over and then you hit a barrier. And then you have to maneuver around the barrier as you're faltering. It's, one time I died off of that and I was really worried in uh, hardcore mode. But just take it slow. You know, it won't happen. Just pretty sure it's really not programmed to happen. So just keep moving forward. Great Leap Forward, Die Rise, Province 22. Um, yeah, I've been playing that for the past two weeks. Um, I would be playing it right now, but uh, my friends that I usually play with are not. Only one of them is, so... Uh, yeah, sorry to put you down there, but I mean... This isn't really my top priority since I'm sick, so it's like... Yeah... Uh, it's now my top priority, but I do wanted to bring to you guys before it's too late You guys are either gonna look up other videos or you're not gonna do it or you're just gonna have it done by now I mean the gun game's been out for what a month, right? So as you, this is what I'm talking about where he's faltering over But it's it is pretty easy. So I mean it was just a hassle for me like little things get me like in die rise if I'm going down that elevator shaft towards the AN-94, I go down that last part to where you would pop out at the AN-94. Sometimes it just kills me randomly, and I'm like, really? Really? So, just simple things like that always get me off guard and just put me in a downer mood. Yeah. Things like after this flight sequence, I, I took a 10 minute break. I'm like, whoosh, whoosh, just, you know, just coming over the fact that it, it went that way. So yeah, right there, you get pushed over into a barrier. It's every time it's like really, same there. I mean, I'm, I, it's pretty easy though, so. So, uh, EVA suit, um, yeah, I like that there's no quick time event, so, I can just keep watching, you guys ready for Iron Man, 3, 2, 1, initiating, Iron Man engaged. Uh, there's a couple boxes here. You don't have to get them. I honestly I'm only doing it right now Just to show you that there are boxes here. I think there's only three that I see so But I did get a medium med pack there so sometimes it's worth it sometimes it's not All right first light sequence why did it turn me upside down when I hit r2 whatever Here we go And I'm going to try and keep my videos clean. I don't want to try and swear. And, but, I mean, it's a reaction. You're going to you're gonna say things here. It's it's hardcore mode. Any mistake, you're like, you know, just repeating the swear over and over and over. So, uh, this, I'm going to take out the SMG. Um, you don't really need to worry about shooting it. Just use my flight sequence uh, playthrough here. Like, as I'm doing it, just use the video just to see where I'm going at the screen at the certain times uh, right here I'm gonna stay bottom center just because nothing really flies over here this thing gets knocked off and it creates a space in the center now it's gonna go middle left you're just gonna go right up there and then uh, you're gonna come up here and just basically follow this guy now and uh, you'll be good and to reload there yeah, don't be don't be afraid to shoot the mines. Just shoot them. If you think they're gonna hit you, just shoot them. 
Because if you hit one, it could pretty much kill you in hardcore mode. Just stay behind that box and you won't die. I had a time where I was behind it and it killed me. But apparently I was above it, so. Uh, there's your first flight sequence. Um, and we're already at chapter 3, guys. I'm pretty sure this is where chapter 3 starts. Just fly on over. I am Iron Man. Uh, yeah. Um. Yep. Coming up here. And uh, I'm going to pause it before I get to the first bench because I'm going to pretty much spend half of the next part at the bench. I can tell already it, it's going to be a while to go to the bench. And then obviously once I get to the first suit kiosk as well. And uh, I just know it's going to take a lot of time. And I only have 10 minutes left in recording. So I might as well just put it in the next part. So here's your first weapon part. Just a normal heavy standard frame. Uh, once again, I'll probably just sell the parts just so I can get more resources. And, I mean, with the limited edition, you get the, uh, uh, what's it called? The, uh, evangelizer, so, I mean, you already got that. And then you also have the MK, uh, uh overclocked attachment set and weapon tip set, so, I mean, you should be fine with all the parts. You can just modify the, uh, guns you already get from pre-orders and everything and uh, just use those frames and you should have the parts already and you should be fine so uh... And yet another weapon part tesla core once again I'm gonna sell it i don't really like the tesla cores uh... they're basically the charge ones if you don't know exactly what they do they're more the charging uh... electricity shots so you're going to come up this ladder, wrap around that thing, grab ladder. And then we're going to get to the first bench. Uh, this episode is pretty short. Uh, obviously, uh, it's like five minutes, easily shorter than the other one. And uh, this is pretty much where we come up on the first bench. And I'm going to end it once I get the bench powered up, and we'll see you in the next video. Um, you know, if you like this video, uh, or this playthrough so far, Please tell me. I might do, uh, you know, two to three parts a day, uh, as pretty much as much as you should in a day. I mean, taking 10, 15 minutes breaks after each sequence and all that. I mean, you really should only do tops of uh, five chapters a day just to keep things paced for you. I mean, yeah, I did uh, 14 chapters in one day. But it was just one of those days where nothing was happening, I was in the zone, I, I just played Dead Space all week straight, and I'm like, I'm pumped for this, so. Uh, here's all the stuff I'm getting into the bench, as you see my guns, uh, I'm not going to get the devil horns, so uh, skip this tutorial, and I'll see you in uh, my next video, which will start out with like about a five minute bench sequence, so. Um, you know, if you like this video, please do. Uh, I mean, I know some of you hate it. Some of you uh, don't even mind if I ask for a like. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. But, I mean, yeah, liking just tells me, you know, you want to see more content. Same with commenting. I love when you guys comment. It just lets me know that you're interested in what I'm doing here. And I'll uh, see you in the next video, guys. Part 3 or Part 2 or Part 1. Whatever I make it. Uh... I'll see you in the next video.